it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. 1948 CJ2A. Really a cute little rig. You can see it's got a M100 military trailer with it as well. And Stanley is hanging out in the back. Kind of likes it. Feels kind of special back there. But, you know, actually, it seems like every 4th of July that season, I end up with something military or something that looks military. I think the last uh, military little rig I had was on bring a trailer at the same time. It was a it was a CJ5. So this one here is actually a civilian Jeep, and it's actually in really nice condition. I got it from a gentleman that restored it for his father, who was um, in Korea and they wanted something that would you know just bring back a lot of good memories and, and stuff for him for fighting you know fighting for our country and, and our freedom so they did this one up like a military rig a lot of original material military parts you can see here it's got the earlier military grill you know with the blackout turn signals recessed headlights you know if you just do a google search you can see the difference between military and and civilian Jeeps in general. And also you can see the window frame is much different than a regular uh, civilian Jeep. This is actually a, an original military window flips all the way out, which I'll show you. And then the whole uh, frame flips forward and rests on here. So, you know, overall, really, really nice, nice, nice Jeep that someone can enjoy and have a good time with. It is registered to this plate and the pictures I didn't use. The plate and the uh, pictures, I actually forgot to put it back on there, but it is registered uh, to the rig and then it is street legal for the most part. Um, the blinkers aren't working. That is the only thing they'll have to get working. It's, we actually kind of messed with them and we could get blinkers on one side. So not 100% sure uh, what's going on with those. So. Um, I know I should have took it a little bit further, but but I haven't messed around with that too much. So, anyways, you can see it's got military tires on it. They're uh, 6.0 by 16s. They're actually in really good shape. You know, they just brown just a little bit, but um, really good tread. The other ones on the back, they have some cracking in them on the trailer, uh, but they're they're uh, 7.0s, so a little bit bigger. You can see the exhaust coming out the side. That's actually how they, they did it. So let me just walk around it a little bit in general. And I was going to show you the headlights working. We've got headlights. We've got high beams. You know, they're working. You know, the bumper looks good. You know, the paint is in nice shape. It's probably, I don't know, 12 years old. You're going to see some imperfections in it in general. You'll see a little bit of touch up here. You know, just some little things, but these are actually original spot welds right there. You can see a little tiny run in the paint. You know, just little chips in general. You know, but overall, in nice condition. Here's a chip here. You know, the cow looks really good. You know, it's nice to see this too done up like a Navy Jeep instead of just the olive drab. You know, you usually see, so it's actually pretty pretty nice to the eye and if you actually just wanted to drive it around in general you know these are painted on but you can have that repainted over you know where it says US Navy and, and just make the whole thing gray so that wouldn't be too hard to do we'll just look here the bottom of the cowl sometimes these get really rusty this is actually in really nice condition look down here in the bottom of the rocker very very nice go ahead and rev it up just a little bit Nolan You know, it doesn't blow any smoke runs really smooth this panel here was actually replaced if you look inside here you can see the little stitch welds right there it actually had a little damage that was in this area and you know these are single walled you can see from the other side so instead of messing with bondo and all that stuff they just put a new panel here which actually was a smart move on their part and it's it's actually easy to do and a lot less work you can see here we got a matching spare and 
it's in really really good condition you can see the the knobbies on it but you know absolutely no rust one of the difference too is you know it's got a tailgate on it you can open that up i think military i don't know if m38 is actually uh that flip down I, I know some of the cj ones didn't um you can see they use the military lights here in the back jerry can you know you look inside the wheel tubs again very very good condition i'll show you the trailer real fast and overall it's in in nice condition Stanley's like, get this dog some water, showing that he's abused. You know, this is a an original military trailer, so it's an M100. But we went ahead and made little seats, you know, so if you were gonna go on a parade or something like that with the kids, you actually could put some little backers on it here, but you know, we just had these reupholstered along with the interior of it. But again, the the trailer's really nice condition. Here's some of those cracking I can show you on this tire. You know, the front ones don't have this, but there is some uh, cracking, but I probably wouldn't change these, just leave them. I think they actually use tubes in these. Yeah, these, probably a trailer like this in this condition is probably worth 2,500, you know, maybe 3,000. You know, so it's, it's actually just a bonus to the sale. And I think it's probably about from the front of it to the back, I'll measure that, but it's easy for transport if you're gonna have it shipped uh, somewhere. It's probably maybe 18 feet, you know? So a lot of times when they strap them down, they push this forward underneath the Jeep, so it, you know, it probably come to here on a, on a semi truck. So anyways, we'll help with loading and stuff when you get it. So it shouldn't add like any major cost or anything like that. Um, you can see here, this quarter looks really good. You can see all the original spot welds up here. You can see some little holes that were filled. Probably it was a roll bar maybe in this at one point. You can see Willie's. It's got a factory piece there, tailgate. Let me look around here. You know, the bottom of the quarters and the, the cowl, all rust free and look really good. You know, the fender looks good, you know, spot welds. You know, overall it's it's in nice shape, you know, very clean. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you underneath the, the engine, uh, you know, underneath the bonnet there, show you the interior just a little bit more. I did want to show you the lights real fast. Turn your headlights on, you can see the headlights and then brake lights. Turn your brake lights on. Yeah, there we go. So this here is where that switch was. And we, we tried to put a new fuse and a new flasher in it, but it, it wasn't working. So it probably needs to be wired uh, down the road. And actually the horn works too. Well, it did. There you go, just gotta push it a little harder. So I kind of perked Stanley's attention up. So anyways, we'll uh, go ahead and show you some more stuff. Hey, I just wanted to show you the interior in general. Don't have any keys for it. And uh, the windows don't roll up. But I just wanted to show you just in general. One of the nice additions that this has is this flip open window, which I'll show you here in a minute. Steering wheel's in good condition. You know, it's not all cracked. You know, very nice. You know, the seats I had redone. You can see here it's got the tank underneath the seat. The seat looks looks in good condition. New foam, new foam on the back seat as well. And you can see it's got a rubber mat and it's not rusty underneath of it. Just they're they're just in here. A little dirty under there, but um, you can see across the dash in really good condition. These are aftermarket gauges. All the gauges are working except the gas gauge isn't working. The heater, you can hear it on 
the lights, the choke, and then this is uh, for a throttle, but it's not actually hooked up. Uh, at least when I pull on, it's not doing anything. And then you've got uh, your uh, parking brake, three-speed transmission, T T90 transmission, and then your high and low there, and then they all they all function. It's actually really fun to drive. I'll walk around here, here to the other side real fast for you. Thought this was kind of cool down here with the embossed Jeep from the factory. Pretty neat. Original tag. Underneath here is a little compartment. Underneath here. You know, it stays outside a little bit. Let's just see some pine needles and different things. But I didn't take that. That mat's actually really hard to get out because you can see it's entrapped behind there, so I didn't take it out. And I really wasn't too worried about it. You can see the back of the seat looks nice. You know, I haven't seen any rust on this. You know, it's actually really clean. You know, again, the seats, you know, they don't have hardly any miles on the seats because I just put them in there. And again, like I mentioned before, we did put new covers on the back seats there. Stanley. I think he's getting sick and tired of being in there. So anyways, hopefully that gives you a good idea and overall of what it uh, looks like in the interior. I'll go ahead and uh, flip this window open for you. And you just turn these two little knobs here. You can see that. And you just pull it forward. Got it? There we go. You can see here it pulls forward and then you just tighten it. And then you can drive around like that. Stanley. Then you can push it back down. Here you go. Just push it back in. And then you lock it back. Whoop. It's hard to do it with one hand. There we go. So, and then if you want to flip it forward, right here, you just pull those. I'm gonna have to take Nolan to the the gym here. There we go. Then you flip it forward. Actually, we didn't get it latched there. That's okay. And if you want to drive around like this, you take these little levers right here. Sorry we're not doing such a smooth video, but then it just locks down like that. And you can drive it around with the, uh, the windshield down. So the windshield is a lot easier to do. I just had one hand and stuff and no one's gym days are about over. So uh, anyways, hopefully that gives you a good look at what the Jeep is. Stanley's uh, tired of the, the show here. take a look underneath the hood you can see here these little latches pretty simple and if you look underneath here what you're gonna see is a factory go devil 134 inline four you know it actually runs like a little sewing machine you can see there where it says Willie's and Jeep on the head it's a flat head so you know Everything looks pretty pretty good underneath here. They did do some wiring, new wiring and stuff in it, but you know the engine runs runs pretty nice. You can see it's got a float bowl down there and a filter. Filter looks good. Radiator looks good. I haven't seen any stuff of leaking or anything like that. I'm gonna put it on my uh, lift so you can see it a little bit more. The ID number on it is uh, 12, 2, 3, 4, 1, 6, 0, right here. That's what it's titled off the uh, the engine number there. You can see here it's got a tag, Willie's tag, it's number 152660. Put the 
idle and stuff is titled off the engine, which isn't uncommon on especially a lot of 30s and, and 40s cars, and this is a 48. But if this was an actual military engine um, for an M38, it would have different numbers and stuff, but basically the engine would be the same. And you're just going to see different stuff. You'll see 24 volt usually, but this is thrown an alternator, uh, just regular 12 volt system, external oil filter. So, go ahead and rev it up just a little bit. You know, it actually sounds pretty good. And I haven't seen any accidents on this Jeep either. You know, all up in here looks, looks very nice. These little holes right here. You see, that's actually kind of a staple mark. That would have been a little shroud, you know, made out of uh, maybe a cardboard or uh, some kind of plastic that would be here. So that would have been all the way around. You see a couple little pieces there, but you don't really need it uh, for it. But um, it's just nice to have a little shroud around there. So anyways, uh, we'll show you some more stuff. take a look underneath the Jeep you know I like to put them up on the lift obviously and uh, show different things uh, but it's nice to put it on the lift just gives you a whole different uh, perspective of it in general everything can look really pretty on the outside but that's the first thing I always look at when I even go to look at a rig is hey that looks pretty but I'm gonna hop underneath and see how it looks underneath so you know this Jeep here um, very very clean underneath you know it's not rusty or anything there's been some repairs and different things on it but overall 
you know, for a CJ 2A 1948, it's actually looking pretty good. Uh, you're still going to see the still photos and stuff when we go underneath, but, um, you know, in the photos and stuff. So this just gives a, a better look. So we'll just uh, start here in the front. The, uh, the front axle housing is a Dana 27. The 25 actually has a, a different cover on it. Um, it's uh, cast iron and this is stamp seal. So this is a Dana 27. And, you know, the brakes work really good. I haven't had the brakes apart or anything. They feel great. And I know that they were redone when uh, they redid the, the truck, but or the Jeep. But what I did look at is, you know, all the brake lines look really good on it and they're not cracked. And they, they look in nice shape. I did put new boots right here. These were cracked. I did put new, new uh, dust caps over the top. You know, the shocks look in good shape. You know, I haven't seen any major oil leaks, but there is a little seepage and stuff around the pan in different areas on the engine. And I haven't really noticed anything that's been hitting the ground or anything like that or uh, slinging oil all over the place. But there is some minor seeping around it. And I wouldn't doubt that in time you'd, a, a little leak could happen. You know, just a little drip, minor things. You can see up here the numbers on the side of the block. You'll see pictures in the auction. But here you can just see little little seepage and different things. I was gonna look up here around the frame. You can see it's had some reinforcement up here on the front. You can see some reinforcement here. You know, it's pretty typical on some of this old stuff because people used to take the stuff out and you know go four by in and, and different things, so you know, the floors, you know, if you look up in there, the framing and everything looks really good up there, the frame, and, uh, you know, where you put your feet there are, is really good. Look up here in the bottom of the cowl, you know, again, it's not rusty. Very, very clean. You can see two little spots that have been welded up. They're probably from a roll bar. You know, some of their welding in general, it's holding and it's, it's actually overkill on some of the things that they did, but, you know, they weren't the perfect welders, whoever did some of the repairs and uh, some of the stiffening up. But you can see here the frame looks in really, really good shape. You can see the floors look nice. You can see a little, little cut, little tear right there on the bottom you know they got rubber mounts on the body that's the nice thing about these old old jeeps and old utility rigs like this i mean they're easy to get to and you know you can make repairs yourself pretty easy I'm just going to show you this side the frame you know the body mounts all look good not rusty The transfer case is a uh, Dana 18. Transmission there is a, uh, a T90. You can see here it's had newer uh, U-joints. They all look good. You know, I haven't seen any issues with that. You know, they, they feel, feel tight. This is the gas line. You know, the bottom of the floor back here looks good. You can see the rubber brake line looks in good shape here. Just looking at U-joints and different things. And when you see numbers like 718, I didn't change the fluids. They actually look pretty good, but I did top everything off. You know, it hasn't had a lot of miles on it since it was redone, you know, 10, 15 years ago. So it's done more, more sitting than, than anything. You can see here the frame back here. Everything looks, looks in order up here in the wheel tubs. 
look nice and clean and I haven't seen any accident damage <clears throat> at all on it let's see go around here you can see here where they put that new quarter on yeah, they could have cleaned up those welds a little bit better and that little section right there the welds just aren't aren't perfect but those could be cleaned and repainted very nice so but hopefully that gives you a, a good look of it underneath you know the bottom of the rockers and everything and look really good but hopefully that gives you a good look underneath in general i mean it is actually a clean little jeep and looks good um oh, i forgot to mention the the rear end is a uh dana uh 41 and so we got yeah dana 27 on the front dana 41 on the back and a uh, dana 18 transfer case so um and again i checked all the fluids and, and stuff so one of the ways you can tell a dana 41 has got a round round pumpkin here and dana 44 has kind of squared off and, and things so anyways this is what a when i mentioned that that's what a cj2a should have is is the that configuration so Hopefully that gives you a, a good look. If you got more questions, give me a call. I'd love to answer anything that you had. You can make uh, comments on the on the auction, and um, someone's got a nice gonna get a nice little willies here.